I have got to admit, um, when I first read this article, I kind of blew up and started bad mouthing, giving a scathing review, yelling at my computer. But once I started reading it, I got a little bit better. I got a lot better. The reason is, I am tired of people changing old content for the sake of it being old, wanting to change it to be new. So if a character happens to be white, they change it to be black. If they're black, changing them to be white. It's the same thing. It's it's okay to make a little change here and there, but again, all, you always go back to the original material. That's how I am. I'm a quote-unquote originalist when it comes to content from my childhood. And again, if you want to have some creative freedom, go for it. I don't mind that. I, I, I encourage it. It's just my, my biggest biggest gri uh, gripe is that if you do change the original material you better have a freaking good reason other than trying to make it palatable to the people today no i don't like that <laughs> it's like people today will always be bothered by things so if the best way is to actually bother more of them <laughs> if they don't like that oh one person's a little bit more quote unquote rapey they would say it's like no Maybe there's a justification as to why that would be not considered rapey, but an inconsiderate to women. Maybe he's just been by himself for the entire time and has never had consideration for another woman's voice. Hey, boom, right there. You've not justified the quote-unquote rapey material, which I know I'm probably going to regret saying the word rapey and trying to justify rapey, but it's just if you go to the original material and then change it, modify a little bit, but you don't just modify a character outright. And I first thought from this article, uh, Batwoman, and I apologize if I'm going to butcher your name, Javicia Leslie, cast as the new ro lead role of the CW superhero series, Batwoman. And at first I thought that they were literally going to make Kate Kane into a black woman. The reason I got up in arms about that is because Kate Kane is related to um, one, she's a white person. It, I don't care if you're either black or white, what the original character is. Lucius Fox is one of my favorite characters in the Bat universe. Because, again, it's like with Alfred. Batman wouldn't be Batman if he didn't have Alfred or Lucius Fox. Now, it's more of Alfred because there was more historical reference, but they made a new character with Lucius Fox. I don't know how recent, but he's a phenomenal person. Specifically in Batman Begins... And they made a few animated uh, shorts, if not a few animated movies, with Lucius Fox. And I, even in the Batman animated series, I think it's a little kooky, I think it's a little childish, but I think they do it wonderfully. And I thought originally J uh, Javicia Leslie uh, was, going to be, was going to recast as Kate Kane, but when I started reading the article, God friended me... Uh, God Friended Me co-star Javicia Leslie has been cast as the new Batwoman. And that's when I got up in arms and I started recording and I just, <laughs> I went off. But succeeding Ruby Rose, who exited the role after, se at, um, after the end of season one, Leslie confirmed to play the new character. Let's back it up a little bit. There we go. Um, co uh, confirmed to play a new character. That's the biggest thing for me. That's everything about me kind of like went, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> like, I, I was in the wrong, I was so in the wrong here, to play a new character named Ryan Wilder. Uh, will make her debut in the iconic cape and cowl when Batwoman returns to the CW for its second season in January. Now, I don't watch Batwoman. I think the first season of Batwoman kind of effed up the entire um, character of Batman. They have had been pooping on him ever since the first episode they maybe have justified one or two things as to why like oh, okay he's not here well i'm better be i'm better i'm <laughs> i might be better than batman because i'm here and yet no one in the entire city not even kate kane herself is even asking as to why batman bruce wayne isn't there is he kidnapped? Has he died? Did he lose his memory? Is he out fighting crime in another galaxy? Like, or in another planet somewhere? Come on, like, you, you don't have to poop on him to make yourself look good. And it's the same thing with, um, I don't even know, the, the, the support guy who has built the bat suit for Kate Kane. I don't remember his name. He becomes Batwing, I think, which is a phenomenal character. I've seen him in actually a few animated movies. Uh, like one one shot movies and like Bad Blood, 
uh, I think that was a pretty good film. <laughs> um, it showed the entire Bat family trying to rescue Batman, and I won't go into any details with that one. Um, yeah, but he's, he is supposed to be a very legitimate, capable character, and he becomes a hero, and unfortunately. Like, he, he, he kind of fights being a hero, and then he eventually becomes the hero. And that's a great journey. And I'm not a fan of Batwoman, but if you're going to create a new character, which, again, black or white, red or black, yellow i don't care what matters is if you're going to be creating a new character if you're going to recast batwoman create a new character when they did that's phenomenal and i got this news from uh jeremy from geeks and gamers and sometimes i find him just insufferable but i keep going back to him because i think he has some good takes on certain things he's at least informed or at least in the know-how and he was wrong with this that when we first got to, I think it was like this, uh, about two, three minutes in, um, the way he was ta uh, taking it was that, oh, they're so woke. They're getting even more woke. And I was about to, I, I was, again, I, before this, I started recording. And I was bad-mouthing the LGBT Black Lives Matter SJWs, which, again, I'm very easily and capable of doing that and am willing to because all of them are political associations. If they weren't associated with politics, I would have no care in the world what they do. But if they, are of po if they have a political nature and they're going to change the fabric of society, and if I question it and I'm wrong, and you call me racist, bigot, homophobic, neo-Nazi, white supremacist, that, all those things, I just I don't care about you as an existence if that's the association that you have. I'm okay with dying on that hill because it doesn't make sense to me. It wants you able to make it sense to me that if I can disagree with you and you do not vote to change me, fine, fantastic. If you do not make it illegal for me to do the things that I'm doing, if I'm not harming anybody or stealing their, their stuff, I know it's an oversimplified version, and again, it's like a live and let live, but you can't create a society based off that. I understand. I don't want to get too political. I don't care what anybody's politics are. I don't. Don't make them public for me to know. You get to live your life, and you vote at the, at the, at the ballot box. You can vote for somebody I may vehemently disagree. That's not the point. You, again, I'm okay. I would prefer to have a conversation, to be friends with, to associate with somebody with whom I vehemently disagree politically. But when it comes time to us discussing why we agree, agree or disagree, we can walk away. We can, or we have a beer, which I don't drink beer. I'd probably be drinking water because the only thing I drink is either water or bubbly water. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> and you can make fun of me. That's okay. It's okay to make fun of each other. If it's in light, hard, good, good grace, it's really okay to disagree with one another. And again, I disagree with Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. I think that he's just insufferable from time to time. But at the same time, I'm still subscribed. I liked the video. It's like he at least made me aware of it. I, and going back to the original one, let's read it all the way through because creating a new character, even from this, I created a, um, a little story. Uh, yeah, like all this, I should probably delete that, but I got really pissed off and I said like, whoa, whoa. I was in the wrong. I was absolutely in the wrong. Okay, but one thing that you can do if um, if you want to create a new character, which I think uh, Javis, okay, hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly, Javicia Leslie. If you want to create a if you want to create a powerful black woman, and that's what you want to do, I looked online and I typed in the word scythe, and the reason I typed it with the word p a p s y t h e, I'll get to it in, in a bit. And I the only thing that I could find is this one with uh, Pokemon. Uh, Scythe, this Pokemon, and I, I couldn't find really anything else uh, other than maybe a name, but all in all starting with Scythe. The reason is, um, if you wanted to create a character, here here's what we do. One, we pick um, character, strong black woman, because whatever. Um, we're going to create a uh, uh, weapon, weapon. Uh, or we could do this mode of combat a scythe How do you, yeah a scythe okay now mode of combat scythe um, uniqueness because she's a hero she doesn't kill 
scythe is non-lethal. So how about a psychic scythe? What about that, okay? The reason I, I say that is because if we created a psychic scythe, there's literally no other character named scythe, psychic scythe. A, um, a psychic woman who wear who wields a scythe and that literally you can have it where um, it's it's kind of like the Green Lantern but instead of ha creating physical constructs you actually create more of a metaphysical where you can feel it it affects you but it can go right through you so when she uses the scythe on you and she slashes your head it doesn't mean that your your head's gonna get sliced open it's just that your head is affected like a like an energy surge and because it's um and you could even have that like each attack is an energy surge and maybe her her weakness is anything that actually is mechanical so anytime that you have or she's fighting a robot she can't affect it or unless it's a is it that she's creating a, a, a physical item or is it that she's creating a psychic item more of a, um, um, a oh, what I'm trying to I'm trying to use the word what is it telekinesis not telekinesis tel telekinetic telekinetic is the physical form uh, telepathic where sh she's creating something telepathic in the other person to think that she has a scythe or a telekinetic where there's an actual energy structure and then whatever weakness that she has and what's her what's her origin her origin would be to um, a gym um, a gym she found um, she found as an archaeologist because that's not played out too often <laughs> it's so oh it's so overused but let's go with that uh, we could change this later but a gem she found is an archaeologist um, while holding it it bursts it bursts and um, the energy from the gem is absorbed into her mm -hmm. uh, villain um, a Thanos like character much weaker much weaker because uh, Thanos is the end villain we're gonna create a villain like Thanos where it's a or like the Mandalorian like the Mandalorian, Mandalorian. No, 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 no. What am I thinking of? The, the, the Mandarin. The Mandarin. Oh, I'm gonna butcher the name. Mandarin, Mandaran. <laughs> the Mandarin from Iron Man Three. And in the comic book, he's actually a legitimate villain. But in the movie Iron Man Three, the Mandarin is a spoiler warning. <laughs> spoiler alert. Uh, he's a He's a faux villain. He's a fa villain. Faux villain? Yeah, faux villain. So he's he's dressed up to be a villain while everybody and he's a he's a paid actor. But in the comic books and stories, he's actually a legitimate villain and each he has like a power ring and each ring does something powerful. So you could even do it with the Mandarin is a Scythe's villain. Um or like a legitimate one. You could probably change the name if you want to make it into the cinematic universe. But a Thanos-like character, much weaker, like the Mandarin from Iron Man 3. Uh, each um, searching for the power rings. Uh, because... Yeah. Uh, Scythe... Ha Scythe has absorbed the ring, uh, the gem's power... She's constantly at threat. Yeah. And maybe she could like have her abilities and powers be taken away from her, but she still fights. But however that happens because she's just an archaeologist, we could change that whatever profession she was in. She could just be a, reg a regular civilian, or maybe she was a small child when a gym was thrown upon her. It doesn't even have to be a gym. It's just something like that. And now we've created a legitimately psych mode of combat scythe. <laughs> There we go. There's me. Okay, 
So boom, we just created a new character. And that's what I would love to see. I don't want Batwoman to continue being on the show. I think the show is a nuisance. I think the show is a detriment to Batwoman herself. And the best thing I think that they could have, do, could have done, but I'm, I'm grateful. I want to first preface is that I'm grateful that they actually created a new character. That's the biggest thing for me. I don't care what your name is. I don't care your origin uh, per se. I, I, might give it a, I might give it a gander. I might give season two a try because the first one was just awful. And I'm not a fan of the LGBT group thingy, but again, representation, I understand that. I don't care for it. I don't, it, it's the, it, for me, if anybody who says LGBTQ plus community, okay, what about the straight community? It's like, that just sounds weird. Okay, I, I don't like the black community because if I said the white community, oh, whoa, 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 that's just a little bit different. Okay, we, it, it's just weird. It's weird to me. Now, I under, I don't have any friends. I don't have any, like I have family, but I don't have any friends and stuff and that's more of choice. But I don't, I don't go out. I have, I, I've been self-quarantined. I have been social distancing ever since I've been in middle school. So again, this entire quarantine thing is not new to me. I, I've actually been training for this my entire life. This is normal. It really is. Um, but yeah. So and so, if I could give a plea to Javicia Leslie herself, the her the legitimate actor. If at any point that you can, with the Batwoman character, you're not Kate Kane. That's the one thing. You're not Kate Kane. You are now Ryan Wilder. And that's the important part. You're Ryan Wilder. You're not Kate Kane. You are a Batwoman. Batwoman is based off Batman. Don't poop on him. Don't badmouth him. You could not like what decisions he made, but be grateful that he helped anybody at all. <laughs> That's, yeah, but I know that's outside of, I know every single one of these things are outside of your control because of the writers, because of the producers, and I can, I'm probably, I'm probably small feed to somebody who's in um, network television, which again, it's a dying industry, um, but still somebody who's going to be playing a role that big. I would love to have a conversation with you with your thoughts about how um, whether, because you know, you don't have to read the source material. If, if you play an, if you play a role, you never have to read the source material. It's, it's. I think helpful. I think it's nice, but you don't. You never have to. It's just play the role the best of your ability, and it's really on the writers and the producers to make the character correct. So it has nothing. So again, I, I was pleading to J J uh, Javicia Leslie. It has nothing to do with her. If the show goes wrong with Kate Kane. Kate Kane, I've, I said this, I don't know, I think I probably said this in private, but Kate Kane is a phenomenal actor. Not in Batwoman. In John Wick 2, she plays the lieutenant to the main villain. She has no voice acting. She is legitimately a mute. But the thing is, she's literally a mute, not legitimately a mute, a literal mute. And in that, you get to see every single communication that's happening between John Wick and her. It's all in her facial features. It's all in her facial expressions. She's a phenomenal acting actor if she doesn't speak. I can say that it's not sexist because I have the same criticism for uh, the main character for John Wick, what, Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves sucks at voice acting. He's dedicated at his work, his practice, his profession. He will work hours and hours and hours each and every day for weeks, if not months, for a particular role and job. He will do what he can to make it, but his voice acting in John Wick, that's pretty much the extent of his voice acting. That's the extent of him speaking. Him acting, I think he's pretty good as a very serious role, few lines of dialogue, moving on to the next, uh, moving on to the next action sequence. That's where his role is. Ray, um, uh, Daisy from the, uh, the Force Awakens in the Disney trilogy, it's unfortunate that Disney did what they did with her character. I would have loved to see more of her first 15 minutes of The Force Awakens. I, she had no speaking roles. She had, no, she had nothing but facial features and, um, and, physical action, and physical movements. That's it. But it told a much grander story because you got to see what was inside of her head from how she saw an older woman doing the exact same activity she was doing and she got to see her future and she 
was and she was so disappointed in that. That was amazing acting. I loved that. That was awesome. I'll defend that. I'll die on that hill. I would love to see that. Kate Kane is a great actor. She just sucks as the lead role. Again, she might... Yeah. yeah. And again, anything that's happening to Kate Kane, I don't wish ill upon her. I just don't think she was a great actor. Keanu Reeves is not a great voice actor. He's a great professional actor. <laughs> like, again, in his small... Like, his niche role... Keanu Reeves dominates, in my opinion, at least. I love John Wick 2. John Wick 1 was okay. It was acceptable. Um, I was looking forward to a second one. Uh, John Wick 2 was awesome. John Wick 3, I did not like. I, I, I didn't like it at all. I like some of the things that they did. It's kind of like a Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 did some of the things I liked. Half of it was not. Nope, didn't like it at all. Because the first one was awesome. The second one, eh. It's like, I don't, I'm not looking forward to a third Deadpool. I'm not looking forward to a uh, John Wick 4. I'm not. I don't like where it went. Some of the things I liked, but a lot of it I didn't. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'd say the best of luck to you, Javicia Leslie. No ill towards you, but I'm going to blame you for picking up a role. If you start, if you read the, if you read any lines or say anything that's going to poop on Batman. Or say, again, if you, it, I'm going to judge you because you are in the limelight. You get all the criticism, but you get all the praise. The producers don't get mo most of them. The, the, the cast and crew of any series seldom gets the praise, seldom gets the criticism. It's usually those who are in the limelight, and Javicia Leslie, you are stepping in that role. I love Batman. Batman is who I grew up with. Superman, Batman, and Iron Man, and Captain America. Those are the characters that I grew up with. So, again, you don't have... I think in... Again, this might be my last thing. In in-game, spoiler alert, any, um, I don't like the fact that they actually killed off Iron Man, Tony Stark, and technically killed off um, or retired... Um, Steve Rogers, Captain America, but I think Captain America, having ha having retired him the way that they retired him, I would have not asked for anything better. I don't like that they did that, but if you do it, they did it nicely. Iron Man, Tony Stark, he's been the leader for 13, 21, uh, 21 movies. He's been one of the main characters, regardless of him being a, um, a, uh, a cameo. They ended him off nicely, wonderfully. And it all goes back for him to being in this, inside that cave in Iron Man 1. Yen Sin saying to him, don't waste your life. Well, guess what? He saved the universe. I'd say twice, but he saved the universe. He saved the universe. The universe. He redid, he, he couldn't, he couldn't, re, he failed. But in the end, he won. He made it. He redeemed himself. That's awesome. Like, if you kill off a character, do it nice. Do it right. But again, Batwoman, the series, has been pooping on Batman, has been just demolishing characters that I liked. It's, I don't like the series. I don't wish any ill upon you, Javicia Leslie, but I think you're going to fuck it up. And I'm, because of the role you're stepping into, not of who you are. Because I think Batwoman, the producers, the writers, they're the ones that are actually at fault. But you're in the limelight saying the words. I get to criticize you because you've accepted the role. Okay, that's my bit. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope that made sense. Um, again, sorry, me, sorry, sorry, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers, but you're wrong. It's not woke. That's not the issue. I think you're focusing on the wrong content. I think the main thing is that it's just the Batwoman series and creating a new character go for it have at it being lgbt plus whatever community whatever i can't go for it i don't care if you mess up the role which i think you're going to because of the writers and producers you're stepping into the role you're stepping in the limelight and you're going to say those words that are going to butcher and demean other just woke crap 
that's what I'm going to be criticizing. Well, actually, if I said, <laughs> I might be wrong, Jeremy, you might be correct. <laughs> I guess I do have an issue with Javicia Leslie stepping in the limelight with Bat, uh, Batwoman being a very woke, crappy show, and they're going to just continue on with that LGB, uh, with that woke nonsense. Okay, Jeremy, you've convinced me you are correct. I, I say that begrudgingly, but you are correct. <laughs> Okay, so everyone out there, please go make your own decisions. Please watch those episodes of Batwoman. I may personally not like them. You may personally like them. If you like them, roll with it. There's shows that I like that other people don't like. I love the prequels. Um, I don't watch them, but I hold them fondly in my memory. <laughs> so especially, um, like I've seen the uh, the show Leverage 20 times, well, five, five, six times. But I love that show. I'll probably continue watching the original uh, five se season series. I'll probably go with Burn Notice or something. I love those shows. Some people don't like them. I love them. So, again, find a show that you like and go out there and create stuff. Create stuff that you enjoy. Create stuff that you you like. And more importantly, that brings a smile on another person's face. Please hit that like button. Smash that like button. Set a, uh, smash that subscribe button because that would greatly help this channel out. And most importantly, go out and create. I said I said that already, but I don't. I, I want to emphasize it a little bit more. Go out and create. Make things that make other people happy. Make other people smile. Cause that's that's worth living for. See you next time.